In this video I'd like to show kind of an unusual project. It's a drill press that I modified to give it milling capabilities. So now I'm going to cut to an older clip showing how I put it together. I started with an old Craftsman drill press, a 6x18 compound table, and I removed the drill table and drilled and tapped holes in the base of the drill press. I just finished tramming it and I have a few shims or I had a few shims to work with and I found that the best combination is a 5,000 shim and a piece of gasket paper on this one corner. So this setup is mounted to the center of it is mounted to the spindle of the drill press and it's going to give you about a 5 inch sweep. So we're set on zero here. Bring it over here. Um, a little over zero, maybe about maybe a half a thou. And about a thousandths. Um, about a thou and a half. And back to zero. So I'm going to settle with that. And next I'll attach the motor. Alright, I had the motor mounted and the belt and the belt guard is on. I also took the uh, the drill press table, uh, unbolted it from the mount and slid the mount down here next to the base to try to give it a little more rigidity down there. For the, uh, for the chuck, I turned this in the lathe and up top it has a uh, 5 8 bore and down bottom it has a 3 8 bore so it accepts anything with a 3 8 shank and these are the uh, end mills and fly cutters I'll be using so I'll mount a piece of work in there and, and see how it goes alright I have a piece of work mounted and what I'll do is bring the spindle down touch off lock it zero my dial and I'll feed it five thousandths and take a pass I'm set up to cut a, uh, a keyway and a piece of three quarter inch round cold rolled. I have a three sixteenths end mill and I'm going to be taking a five thousandths cut.
that's the final cut. And here's what it looks like. One of the drawbacks of this machine is that it doesn't have a gear rack to move the head up and down. To lower it is easy enough. You just loosen the clamp, give it a little wiggle and it, it'll, it'll come right down. Um, but to raise it, I have to use a hydraulic jack. Not very convenient, but it works. To maintain drilling capabilities, I have a, a drill chuck with a 3 8 bolt threaded into it. It fits into the, into the mill chuck. Now this machine definitely has its limitations, but before I put this together, uh, I was doing my milling in a small lathe, and this is this is definitely an upgrade over that. So with a little bit of patience and taking light cuts, I've been able to make quite a few parts with it, and I enjoyed putting it together. So hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, thanks for watching.